Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based air pollution monitoring system based on ThinkSpeak and uh, using Arduino you know. So here we have interfaced the uh, four different sensors to monitor the five parameters. So the four sensors nothing but DHT11 so it can provide us the humidity and temperature. DHT11 nothing but digital humidity temperature. Uh, double on is the its series number and the next PM2.5 so which can measure the uh, particles uh, density and the next MQ136 air quality and MQ02 smoke intensity so total five parameters so these are interfaced to the Arduino you know board and that will be continuously monitoring and stored in the ThinkSpeak cloud platform so the data will be sent to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform by using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so we have interfaced this PM2.5 through this driver board at A0 pin and uh, 11th pin. So the 11th pin is nothing but to on the laser light which will be present inside this. So when the laser light emits the uh, laser light and it will fall on the photodiode. So if it will get the exact value which is transmitted then there is no dust particles will be present inside this hole and we will get the uh, like uh, low value. So whenever the particles present in between that transmitting and receiving in between that then the value varies and that will be captured and calculated by our UNO board and that will be stored in the cloud platform in terms of uh, micrograms per meter cube. So that is a unit for this one and uh, humidity temperature, humidity in percentage, temperature in degree centigrade and the next uh, these two are in air quality and smoke intensity in the PPM this parts per million. So we have interfaced this A0 and 11th pin and uh, DSC double one at pin number 10 and MQ uh, air quality sensor at the A1 pin and A2 interface to this smoke intensity and here we are using this as a breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply which we are providing from this adapter directly. So as the operating voltage for our sensors is 5 volts so that's why we need to connect this over here so it will be connected over only right and now we are distributing the 5 volts power supply throughout the inputs and output module and uniboard directly so before on the kits we need to install sorry we need to uh, change the hotspot name in your phone as uh, we need to provide the data service for the ESP8266 so for that go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to 5752 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 123456789 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz so after that on the hotspots and data then log into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform with the given credentials so stay on the screen and now you can on the power supply to the main kit right so once you on the kit there we can see one device is connected over here so it is zero device connected right device, one device connected now you can keep the mobile phone aside and wait for 15 seconds duration as ThinkSpeak accept the data the duration of 15 seconds only so till that it won't accept and it won't plot that value on the ThinkSpeak so let's uh, wait for the time and uh, it will upload it to that and then after we will change the values by providing the smoke intensity to the system and this data can be accessed from mobile phone also just we can log into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform and we can download the data and we can erase the data so the data uploaded into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform can be stored Till you erase that old data so there is no time limit for this storage inside this right just refresh the screen right we got the data now uploaded so there will be clumsy of data presentation when we are getting the uh, adding the present data to the old data so in order to get the fresh data you can erase that better before erasing that go to data import and exports right so now go to channel settings uh, so in that one data import exports not channel settings data import exports and now download that so the data will be downloaded and it will be opened in excel sheet format so it consists of date and time right date and time at which the data captured and how many entries till now captured this one and next the first one is humidity and temperature and next air quality index value in ppm and next smoke in ppm and the final one is the density level in micrograms per meter cube so after you downloaded this data now you can go to channel settings in that only clear channel don't do any other 
only clear channel you need to access only these three ma private view for uh, see the live values channel settings to clear the channel data import export to download the data there wait for the right so we got the fresh data to be uploaded so when we click on this that uh, we we'll, can see the sample value and along with date and time so now let us provide the input to this system so now previously it is normally that was uh, like that that dust intensity is density is 2.83 micrograms now i'm just i'm providing the input to that So we need to provide the input to at least of 15 seconds. Why? Because uh, when the data is uploading to the system, then it has to capture this uh, very value. And now the all values will be changed as the smoke intensity is increasing near to the sensors. Right? We can see the value raised at this dust value. It's around. Uh, 50 change i think right it's so 53.75 the same as we discussed uh, air quality also changed and smoke ppm also changed so you know if you want to change the humidity value you need to blow the air in uh, near this one right so once you blow the air so it will be captured and will stay at least a 15 seconds on this humidity sensor because when the moisture formed on that one so it will take some time to reduce that you can see that humidity also raised on the sensor right so in this way manner we are going to capture the air quality values like humidity temperature and dust density from this pm 2.5 and air quality index and smoke 